Hello everyone! The clip you're about to hear is from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes on a recent horror release, and just like all of our other episodes, it might include major spoilers for said horror release, so don't listen to it if you haven't already seen it. You've officially been warned. And if you'd like to hear the full episode, just head on over to patreon.com slash horrorqueers and subscribe today. Without further ado, here is your exclusive Patreon clip. So one thing that we haven't talked about, you know, we we mentioned noted bisexual uh-huh. Jenna Monet. So we, we have real life queer presence here. And then this movie also confirms that Benoit is a gay man because he's living with Hugh Grant. Well, and... queer. We don't know. Maybe he likes women, too. But sure. Um, yeah. I, I mean, this was a fun little Easter. I, I, I feel like you're disappointed with this. I think it's completely underwhelming and the way that they wanted to pat themselves on the back about yeah. like, oh, we're confirming he's queer. And you're like, I I literally read it as a roommate until the movie came out publicly like two weeks ago. Right. Because I was just like, uh, men can live together in an apartment together. It doesn't actually mean that they're gay. And this just like there's there's no interaction between these characters yeah. like it, it's this is not a relationship and i refuse to be excited about this representation yeah i'm not excited about the this to me is nothing more than an amusing tidbit because yeah you're right hugh sure. grant and, and daniel craig don't even share the the screen in this Mm-mm. movie i can almost guarantee you they were not working on set together that day no <laughs> of course not now this is not a disney beauty and the beast like oh we're gonna show josh gad like look at a man and therefore he's gay mm it's not that far off though because we no. already have full like articles in different news outlets that's like oh ben was gay and you're just like no we we can still ask for more than this we no. can do better i agree and i think that the, the thing that annoys me the most about it is the press stuff to it like like that like, is true yeah. there, if if literally nary a single article or interview came out about this with this team saying yeah he's like look at what we're doing mm-hmm. that wouldn't be a big issue to me because then it's like cool you don't think this is a big deal right but their reaction to it and how again crumbs we are getting with this it's mm-hmm. kind of like okay like just stop talking like just let this be and it is. And granted, would I have preferred that we get some shots of him in a relationship with Hugh Grant? Sure. Yeah. But hey, you know what's going to happen? It's going to be unnecessary to the two hour and 20 minute runtime. I will say I'm going to give full credit. Um, so Bloodhouse podcast host Joshua Conkle did a tweet that he said he hopes the third film is actually going to be Benoit and whoever Hugh Grant's I think his name is Philip. Sure. He hopes that it's the two of them on vacation and Philip is just begging Benoit not to get involved in any mysteries or crime. And Benoit has to like covertly solve a crime while still having a fun vacation with Philip. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I would watch that in a heartbeat. Yeah, That's the plot of an American Dad episode. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> um literally though it is the plot of an american dad episode i mean i'm sure it's more than just an american dad it it seems like a relatively a common <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'd be fine with that i mean again this is assuming hugh grant will come back although i mean why why wouldn't he right this is like a huge franchise yeah especially if the new film actually gives him something to do that would be interesting well that's the thing this is just a cameo and mm-hmm. would <sighs> Okay, I, this may be a stupid question. What if it was just a famous woman who was in this role as a cameo? It wouldn't be a big deal, right? I think it depends on how famous, right? Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, uh, who's a woman who's comparable to Hugh Grant? Uh, like, let's say Julian Anderson opens a store. Sure, okay. Are you angry about this? Are you mad about this? Or is it like, oh, cool, that's a fun cameo. Bye-bye, Julian Anderson. Exactly, the latter. Exactly. The problem is, it's... We're only more annoyed by it, not because, oh, he's gay. Cool. It's because of how they're all talking about it in real life. Mm-hmm. Well, I've. Uh, y- yes. Yes. Sorry. I, will I, I, that. I wasn't trying to like trap you. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm I'm trying to process this because it to me, this is still a bit of a new revelation. Like, as I said, the first time I saw this film, I just thought it was oh, Benoit is. <laughs> God, in hindsight now, I just sound incredibly <laughs> foolish. Oh, yes, this middle-aged man who can clearly afford his own apartment and has a male roommate. 
I think it's more just my default is still set that every character I see is straight because that is what I've yeah. always been told. That is what I've always been given. And then when I find out that we've got this this queer man in whatever context he identifies, yeah. because, of course, Benoit and Philip don't actually tell us. I I just want a little bit more like, OK, this is a super well-known, established franchise now from very famous people can we not just get a little bit more than somebody opening the door in a cameo? Ah, Atlas Avenue. A long stretch of road that encompasses everything the city of Kennet Heights has to offer. Neon lights, traffic, crime, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and the craziest of characters. My office was above it all. My name is James Locke, and I'm a P.I., Hello, Mr. J. How the hell you doing today? Good, Edith. Nearly every year I have a new case. New people to meet, new clues to discover, and new problems to solve. But I do it the old-fashioned way. No technology. Nothing post-1950. Hell, I don't even listen to podcasts, but you should. Atlas Avenue Beat is a spoof of the film noir genre with goofy characters, tons of wordplay, and non-stop raunchy humor. There's also three whole seasons out right now with more on the way. Just search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts or visit us online at bloody.fm.